and zone two helps improve peripheral vasculature, so the blood vessels going into the muscle. Mm -hmm. um, and, and in doing so, it does contribute to an increase in, in VO2. So you will get some increase in VO2 from that sort of moderate intensity cardiovascular training that we're talking about zone two. Then you have zone two, which we just spoke about. Mm -hmm. So what's that as a stress, this steady state cardiovascular training? Well, you're mostly using slow twitch muscle fibers. Um, these are our type one. So they're called slow because they're slow to fatigue. You mm -hmm. can just do, you, you can keep going with them. Um, and they're the muscle fibers that are most dense in mitochondria. Mitochondria are kind of uh, the power factories mm -hmm. of our cells. They, in the presence of oxygen, um, they're where aerobic metabolism occurs. They take uh, the um, sort of uh, glucose and fats, these substrates, and they convert them from chemical energy into ATP, mm -hmm. mechanical energy. We can move our body. Mm -hmm. So zone two really upgrades those mitochondria. So you get the uh, improvement in mitochondrial function. Mm -hmm. You can build more mitochondria. And there's also a process called mitophagy that mm -hmm. occurs where you clear out dysfunctional mitochondria. And this also ties into the longevity aging conversation. If people have been sort of tuning into that, one of the hallmarks of aging is dysfunctional mitochondria. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the, and, and zone two, actually, let me, let me just add on to that. Our VO2 max is a, a byproduct of lung capacity, um, our heart function, and then also muscle physiology and the ability to pull in oxygenated blood mm -hmm. during exercise. And zone two helps improve peripheral vasculature, so the blood vessels going into the muscle. Mm -hmm. um, and, and in doing so, it does contribute to an increase in, in VO2. So you will get some increase in VO2 from that sort of moderate intensity cardiovascular training that we're talking about, zone two. Um, that's the stimulus of zone two. Zone five, mm -hmm. which is high intensity, it's the stuff that most of us want to avoid, can mm -hmm. make us feel like we want to throw up, um, is you know, you're up at now 85 to 95% of your max heart rate, your heart is beating out of your chest. Um, and usually this is done in sort of intervals. Mm -hmm. the, the most common interval that's used in studies looking at high intensity interval training is a four minute kind of interval where you're on a bike or running and you're not going completely all out, that would be a sprint, mm -hmm. but you're going really hard and your heart rate's up. And you'll find when people first start this, they can't hold a four minute sprint. Yeah. So they have to, to build it up. Yeah, but I mean, four minutes is a long, it's a time. long time. <laughs> that can be miserable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you probably need people around you motivating and, and, and that's how they do it in the studies. But uh -huh. um, it's just like real life. You yeah. always have like a team of people yeah. just running after you <laughs> and motivating you for your hit <laughs> workouts, yeah. I wish. <laughs> um, yeah, I wish too. So that stimulus is a little bit different. When you're exercising now at that very, very high intensity and there's less oxygen around, mm -hmm. we start using anaerobic energy production system, which is now outside of the mitochondria. So essentially what the anaerobic energy production system is and why we have it is if there's if the energy requirements exceed the amount of energy that our mitochondria can produce, mm -hmm then we need to have another way of making generating that ATP. Mm -hmm. And so we can generate more ATP without the presence of oxygen. Mm -hmm. And this is called anaerobic glycolysis. Now, this is mostly done in fast twitch muscle fibers. So zone two is the slow twitch. Zone five is fast twitch, fast to fatigue. So we can't hold it for, for very long. Mm -hmm. We get buildup of metabolic byproducts that cause quite a lot of fatigue. Um, that stimulus when you're, when you're working at that high intensity is strongly directed centrally. So there's a very strong central stimulus there. That's what really causes the heart to adapt. So now we're getting more efficient heart function, increase in stroke volume. So we can mm -hmm. pump more oxygenated blood through the body 
per pump, mm -hmm. which helps increase VO2 max. And the other um, really neat thing for people to understand here is that zone two and zone five, they, they, there's some interplay and sort of um, interaction and some science that speaks to the importance of having both. Mm -hmm. And in the middle, you're sort of in a bit of a gray zone in terms of the systems you're stressing. So remember I said having intent and stressing systems very specifically, yeah. that's what we're doing here. Zone two, we're stressing those mitochondria mm -hmm. and then and the slow twitch muscle fibers. And zone five, we're stressing the heart, but we're stressing the fast twitch muscle fibers. And mm -hmm. one of the, the, the really neat thing that happens is when you're exercising at very high intensities, we've all experienced it, you get fatigued mm -hmm. and your power drops. So what separates a, an endurance athlete or uh, an elite athlete mm -hmm. from someone who has a, a, low, a poor aerobic base mm -hmm. and is fatiguing sooner? Two things. One is that when they're exercising at high intensity, those fast twitch fibers mm -hmm. are better at clearing metabolic byproducts, pushing them out of the cell that stops fatigue. And the second is the slow twitch muscle fibers, which is really neat, they can actually accept some of those metabolic byproducts, mm -hmm. lactate in particular, and utilize it to produce energy. Elite athletes have a really good ability to recycle lactate. Mm -hmm. They've trained their slow twitch muscle fibers in zone two, mm -hmm. and they train their fast twitch muscle fibers in zone five. Mm -hmm. And so when they work at a high intensity, they can clear this these metabolic byproducts, they can stop the pH in the cell from lowering so they can buffer it better mm -hmm. and they're less fatigued and they have more power.